Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. Let's take a closer look today at this Craftsman folding knife. Now this is a, an assist knife that uses kind of a modified um, flipping mechanism. And I'll show you how that works. Uh, yeah, that's blood. Anyway, this uh, is not a fail. Um, I've been playing around with this thing still, and I cannot get this thing to work. Somebody in my in the comments said that they had one they couldn't get to work, and they had a friend that did manage to get it to work, but they don't know how. Anyway, this thing to me is still dangerous and still an abomination, but instead of throwing a bunch of shade on Craftsman about that, I'm going to move to this, which actually I think is a pretty solid little knife. Um, it's got some wonky characteristics, but let's take a look at it. Um, kind of going head to head, say, with this Milwaukee Fastback here. I do like these Milwaukees. They hold up well. The steel and the um, sometimes even the blade shape is, is not always the greatest, but close enough. Um, this is almost more of an outdoor knife. I do like that it's not as slippery down here as the uh, these slippery hard plastic Milwaukee's. Um, Milwaukee makes a handful and you know they're trying a lot of different ways of presenting knives. Um, I like the hawk bill. Um, this Klein's one of my favorites. Um, it's got a replaceable hawk bill um, but it uses a uh, you know a back lock um, and it's a little harder to deploy but it's a good solid knife. This one um, looks like it would be really good but I, I actually find that the tip is way too sharp, gets in the way, um, and it's hard to open. Um, compared to some of the others, super slippery. Um, not as hard to open as the next generation, which is next to impossible to open. But anyway, let's get back to the Craftsman. So what we're working with, let me grab a tape measure here, is a knife that's a pretty good size. Um, if we look at this, it's about eight and a half inches, um, which is a, that's a solid knife. Um, the blade length here, we're about just under three and a half. Um, it uses a um, kind of a, an interesting blade shape. Um, for some reason, they've got this cutout up here. This is not a blood groove. This is not a, or a fuller or anything. This is just cut into the blade. I don't know why, um, because it took some effort to do this. Um, I don't see a mechanism advantage, um, but it is thinned out a little bit up there. Um, then it has kind of a standard sort of a drop point, pretty sharp point though. This is straight. This section of the blade here uses some serrations. I don't mind that, especially on a work knife. It uses a liner lock that's a little spring metal. But notice the lock goes almost all the way across. Um, that doesn't give you a whole lot of room for wear, um, but it makes it a lot easier to build a knife because um, you don't have to be very precise with it. You know, just anywhere within this this space works. If you're going to let that tolerance slip by, it does look, I, I don't know if those are bronze phosphorus washers, but it does look like inside there, there is some, some kind of bronzy color and it's fairly smooth. Not, not super smooth, but good enough. Um, it uses an assist mechanism. And what that means is there is a spring loaded blade deployment, but it's not a push button one. You actually have to initiate it by starting the blade to travel out of the handle. Um, and to do that, this uses kind of this weird, um, it's, it's like a flipper, except it's not. Um, traditional flippers, this is part of the blade. In this case, it actually is not part of the blade. You can see it holds still. It's just to uh, push the blade out of the handle, and my guess is that's a cost-saving mechanism since this thing not on sale is about 15 bucks. Um, so what it does is, first of all, there's this uh, spring-loaded locking lever that you have to push. This is a little on the small side. It should be nice and big since it's required for deployment. And then you just flick that, and it's out. Good solid lockup. Of course, the release is here, not here. So some of us are, you know, used to the one button being for both things. You have to remember that. Um, but it is it is a pretty good solid deployment. Um, I've even thought about, you know, just gluing this or wedging something in there to uh, to take this out of the system. And the reason is. Um, you don't really need it, I don't think. Maybe it's some lawyer suggested it. Uh, Milwaukee, you know, has not had any trouble, you know, just having theirs fire out, and most of the other knives that are semi-auto or 
uh, you know, assist knives basically don't have this this extra lever you have to hold in. So it gets in the way, um, but it's not a deal killer. Um, it has a one uh, long, not deep carry uh, pocket clip. Um, executions, okay. I like that they actually stuck a, um, a kind of a seated section of it in here to keep it from moving because some of these things, they start to move back and forth. Um, they did, Klein does the same thing here, you can see. But anyway, good solid handle. They use plenty of screws all the way across to hold those scales on. I thought about trying to grind down. There is, the way this holds, you can see there's a little detent mechanism, or a little um, uh, pin that sticks up. Normally I just rip this thing open and grind down that pin because that's what intersects with this. And then I would have, I would just bypass this completely. However, the way this is spring loaded, it looks like once I take that off, I might end up having a, you know, a pretty, pretty nasty spring flying around inside there. Um, and because this is part of the mechanism, I'm, I'm, I'm unfamiliar with what's going to go on inside it. I still might try it um, to see if I can get rid of this button, but it's not, like I said, a deal killer. So it's very easy to deploy, um, which is kind of nice compared to some of the others that, you know, would take, you know, a, a button push and then a, a wrist swing. This thing's pretty easy to deploy just with that little push button um, because that's enough to launch, very simple, enough to launch the blade. Um, and I could see that this might come in handy in a toolbox or a tool bag because if this was not seated quite right and then you managed to, you know, depress that somehow, you would fire the blade out. So, you know, having it lock in the handle, you know, for a utility knife isn't a bad idea. Um, anyway, uh, so I was uh, kind of showing the faults of this thing that I still can't figure out. But this guy here, I think it's a good one. Um, if you're looking for a, just a general beater shop utility knife um, with a fixed or with a um, a traditional blade, especially a serrated blade, uh, comes super sharp from the factory. If I looked at the tip here really close, I can see it's not not perfect. You know, I imagine on the assembly line these came tumbling off, and it's got a little bit of a a ding in it. Um, I didn't do that one myself. It's pretty common if you drop them though. Um, but anyway. So craftsmen, they're pushing the, um, the different kinds of knives um, with however their new facilities are working out. You can see they're obviously not, quality control needs a little bit of work, but for 15 bucks for an easy deploy knife that looks pretty solid, um, I don't have any trouble um, saying that this might be one to consider. And with that, Doc out.